In this video, I'm gonna talk about the best way to set up your point of sale system. Setting up your point of sale system effectively will ensure that every drink is correctly charged for and increase your ability to manage your business more effectively. We see a lot of bars that cost themselves thousands of dollars simply by not programming their system correctly. The key concept we like to apply we call one drink, one button. Simply put, it means that every single different drink needs to have its own specific button. That applies to different products and also different sizes of pours. In the worst case, we see bars which use group buttons such as having well, call and premium buttons which are used to ring in a variety of different drinks. The problem with this practice is that it makes it impossible to ensure drinks are being charged for correctly. So the first step is to make a button for every product you sell. You spend thousands of dollars buying your point of sale system, so invest some time to set up correctly and make it work for your business. Step two is to limit the use of modifiers. The problem with using modifiers like rocks and martini is you're applying a fixed upcharge to pay for the extra portion of different products. These products can vary considerably in how much they cost. In the extreme case, consider martinis made with Grey Goose or a well vodka. For a three ounce martini, the use of a martini modifier might indicate an extra ounce and a half. An ounce and a half of Grey Goose costs more than $1.50, while the well would cost around 20 cents. It's a situation where using modifier works okay, but the best way to do it is to have individual buttons. The same applies for using a rocks modifier button. If you are pouring extra product for a rocks pour, you should decide how much extra is being poured, cost out these drinks for different products, and make specific buttons. One final piece is to use timed events to automatically adjust the prices of items which are discounted for specific time periods such as happy hour. If your point of sale system won't let you do this, it will stop those special prices being used outside agreed times. We like it when bars program the prices to change 15 minutes before and after the advertised times. This way your bartenders don't appear mean, and if they're smart, they can put a good spin on it. Perfect POS programming is that simple. Apply the concept of one drink per button, choose a speed screen based on your most popular drinks, and use timed events to automatically apply specials.